Midterm election reached the peak in the United States after recent polls show a neck-to-neck -neck race between Democrats and Republicans with 49 seats each, 211 seats for Republicans and 199 seats for Democrats in the House of Representatives. Two more states left to determine who will control the U.S. Congress. Democrat Mark Kelly defeated Republican Blake Masters on Friday to win a U.S. Senate seat in Arizona, a contest that left Democrats one seat short in battle for control of the chamber. It's clear we won the election. I mean, the math, I'm, you know, somebody, I'm okay at, I'm pretty decent at math, and the math, you know, supports the, the calls that the media, you know, has made that I won this election. They didn't have, it looked like... Republican Party had expected big gains of these elections. However, some of its members put blame on candidates, saying that they are politically unqualified, while others accused former President Trump of dragging the GOP down, after witnessing the worst midterm performance by the party out of power in two decades. The midterms did not work out the way Donald Trump intended. He wanted to come out of the midterms riding high, looking like the person who had delivered a massive victory for the Republican Party, and that just did not happen. Of course, we still don't completely know whether Republicans are going to take control of the House and the Senate, but they certainly did not score the kind of resounding win, the so-called red wave, that uh, a lot of uh, people and Trump uh, were expecting. So now Trump is in a little bit of a diminished state. There are certainly elements within the Republican Party that see him or are beginning to see him as a liability. Election results in Nevada and Georgia will now hinge over who can control the Senate and shape President Biden's next two years, where it would pave the way for former president to gain control of the White House again and block most of Biden's agenda. Democrats in need of one more seat for control, since Vice President Kamala Harris can cast the tie-breaking vote.